Okay, good afternoon, class. Okay, I'll focus do now. What word means the land between two rivers? Just tell me. What word means the land between two rivers, class? Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. So say it with me, class. Mesopotamia. 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 Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, class. Our objectives for today. Identify and locate the geographical features of ancient Mesopotamia, including Black Sea, Euphrates River, Mediterranean Sea, Persian Gulf, Tigris River, Zagros Mountains. Explain how geographical features led to the region being known as Fertile Crescent. The, the students will be able to develop geographical awareness by analyzing locations in order to identify and locate the geographical features of ancient Mesopotamia, including Black Sea, Euphrates River, Mediterranean Sea, Persian Gulf, Tigris River, Zagros Mountain. Okay, class, we're going to talk about Mesopotamia geography. We're going to locate Mesopotamia on the map and explain the geographic advantages provided by the Fertile Crescent region. Okay, class, can you all see Mesopotamia on the map? Yeah. Okay. This is Mesopotamia. And the two rivers around Mesopotamia is the Euphrates River, which is to your left, and the Tigris River, which is to your right. Does everybody see that? Oh, okay. Now you see the Persian Gulf. This is the Persian Gulf. Yes. This is the Zagros Mountains. Red Sea is right here down at the bottom. And the Mediterranean Sea, which is to your left. Mesopotamia is right here in the center. Euphrates River is to your left. And the Tigris River is to your right. Remember that, class. Now let's look at Mesopotamia geography. Mesopotamia is located in a region known as the what, class? Fertile Crescent. Fertile Crescent. Mesopotamia means what, class? Land between two rivers. Land between two rivers. Good job. And Mesopotamia is located between what two rivers? The t Tigris and the Euphrates. Right, Tigris and Euphrates. Good job. You pronounced that word so good. Right, Tigris and Euphrates. Let's look at this next slide. When tigers eat, they make a mess. So why do tigers make such a big mess when they eat? Okay, because of the blood. What else? I want to hear from everybody today. Why do they make such a mess when they eat? Because they do not have hands. Okay, because they do not have a hands. Right. Now look at the advantages of living between the Tigris and Euphrates River. Okay, class, what are the three advantages of living between the Tigris and Euphrates River? Fresh water, trees, trade, trade, and fertile soil. soil. Okay, and what was fresh water used for? To water for drinking and agriculture. Okay, it was used for drinking and what? Water and agriculture's crops. Good job. Fresh water was used for drinking and watering agriculture crops. And let's look at trade and transportation. Why was trade and transportation important? It allowed people to do what? Go down um, to trade goods. Okay. Okay, good job. And what did the people use to travel? 
down the rivers with? What did they use? Boats. They used boats. Right. So people travel up and down the rivers and traded goods with people. Okay. And what was fertile soil? What did it allow them to do? It allowed much better farming. Better farming. Good job. So river floods is what, class? Fertile soil. Fertile soil. Good job. Let's check your understanding. Mesopotamia is located in the region known as the what? Be fertile soil. To crescent. Fertile crescent. Good job. Let's look at the next one. Mesopotamia means the land between? Two rivers. Two rivers. Good job. There are three important advantages provided by the Tigris and Euphrates River. I want you to give me all three and tell me why are they important. I need a volunteer to just tell me the three advantages and why are they important. Go ahead. advantages provided by the Tigris and Euphrates River. Give me all three and tell me why are each of those three important. Now don't have to call on someone. Just just tell me. Fresh water, trade and transportation and fertile soil. Okay. They're important but they're important because they they help grow they help make it much better farming easier and they get water without you walking towards Okay, so why was fresh water? Okay, so why was fresh water important? Tell me why fresh water was important, trade and transportation and fertile soil. So say Miss Mosby, fresh water was used for such and such. Fresh water was used for Okay, somebody mute your phone, please. Gail, please mute your phone. Okay, go ahead. Finish telling me. What was first water used for? Questions in your chat box by 
handwriting in the correct letter, okay? Are you ready? We can't type in a chat box. Okay, well, well, we'll work on this together. Question one. What was the most important geographic feature for the Mesopotamian civilization? Is it A, B, C, or D? B, rivers. B, rivers. Good job. Let's look at number two. Why is the region called the Fertile Crescent? D. D. Good job. D, because the region soil is fertile. Let's look at question three. Why was fertile soil the most important advantage provided by the Tigris and Euphrates River? and more for food for a growing population. Good job. Let's look at number four. Why was trading a good thing for early humans? See? Okay, read the answer. Uh, because it allowed people to, ch the people to tend to farm at night and during the day. No, it's not. For number four? Oh, uh, not, it's number three. No, it's not that. It's not C. Yeah. What is number three? Oh, because it allowed people to get items they could not produce themselves. Okay. Let's look at number five. Mesopotamia was also surrounded by mountains. How did this help the civilization of Mesopotamia? Okay, it's D. Tell me the answer to, to D. It provides great hiking and fishing for people. Right, because remember, Mes Mesopotamia is surrounded by mountains, and people hike on mountains. They hike, they fish, so it's D. It provided great hiking and fishing for people. Okay, so let's look back at number three. Why was fertile soil the most important advantage provided by the Tigris and Euphrates River? Because it, it resulted in more food for a growing population. Right, it resulted in more food for a growing population. Good job. Okay, class, on yesterday we did an assignment called the Geography of the Mesopotamia Civilization. Now, did everybody complete that assignment on yesterday? Yes. I, okay, I only heard from one person. Did everybody complete the assignment? Yes. Okay, go, I want you to go to your assignment. For those that did not complete it, go to your assignment tab. Click on assignments, and you're going to see Geography of the Mesopotamia Civilization. And it's going to look just like this. It's going to have the map. And it's going to have information for you to type in the answers. Because everybody did not complete this assignment. So for those that did not complete it, please take it out now. Does everybody have it? Does everybody have it? Okay, you finished yours, okay? Uh, that everybody had. Does everybody see it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the first question is, to your right, so on your right-hand side, it says, Mesopotamia is located in a region known as the what crescent? What goes in that first blank? Fertile. Fertile. So you type in fertile. F-E-R-T-I-L-E. Let's look at the second one. Mesopotamia is land between two what? Rivers. Rivers, right. So you type in rivers.
And the next line is, is Mesopotamia is located between the Blank River and Blank River. What do you type? Right, Tigris and what? Euphrates. Euphrates. So you type in Euphrates. Question two, 
What is the region called the Fertile Crescent? D, because the region soil is fertile. Right, because the region soil is fertile. So you're going to type in the letter D for number two. Question three. Why was fertile soil the most important advantage provided by the Tigris and Euphrates River? I want to hear from everybody. D, because it resulted in more food for growing population? Right, because it resulted in more food for a growing population. So you're going to type in D for number three. Okay, you're going to scroll down to question four. What civilization was located between the Tigris and Euphrates River? No. What civilization? Well, question four. What civilization? Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. Good job. Let's look at question five. Mesopotamia was also surrounded by mountains. How did this help the civilization of Mesopotamia? Did it provide great hiking and fishing for people? Right. So for number five, you're going to type in D. Good job, class. Now, does everybody have this? This is the assignment that you're supposed to turn in to me by today for those that did not complete it. Okay, class, we're going to look at this map. Where is Mesopotamia? In, um, in between the two rivers, uh, Euphrates and Tigers. Okay, so where is Euphrates? On the left. Good job. So Euphrates is right here to the left. And where is the Tigris River? On the right. To the right. Good job. Okay, and where is the Persian Gulf class? On the right. On the right. Where? Bottom corner. Right here. Good job. That's the Persian Gulf. Okay, and what is the Red Sea? Left bottom corner. Good job. Good job. And what is the Mediterranean Sea? Where is the Mediterranean Sea? Can we hear from everybody? Where is the Mediterranean? On the right? No, it's not on the right. In the left corner. Where? What did you say? I couldn't hear you. On the left corner. Good job. Good job. This is the Mediterranean Sea. Y'all are doing such a fantastic job. I am so proud of you all. Okay, any questions on this assignment? This is due today, so please turn this in to me. Okay, class, we're going to answer these questions together. Let's look at the second question. What would happen if there were no rivers in the Mesopotamia civilization? What would happen if they didn't have no rivers? What would happen? To that civilization. They would have food the farming or they would have like water to the um use on to drink and use for their plants. Good job. They won't have no water, they won't have no water to water their plants. Let me and what else? And they can't trade goods for other goods. Right. They will be able to trade goods with other people. Good job. What else will happen? And they, will, they won't be able to trade goods with other
travel and transport goods, right? Because of the boats. They travel by boats. Good job, class. Good job. Now, does everybody see the map of ancient Mesopotamia? Yeah. Okay, can y'all tell me why is this area right here is green? That's where they were doing all the farming at. Okay, so remember what we talked about at the advantages. So why is this green? Why is this area green? This represents what kind of area? What else? What kind of area is this? This green. Why is this green? Because the land is what? Mist. No. Remember the advantages. Oh. Fertile. Oh, fertile. Good job. This green represents the fertile area. Good job. This is the, So all this green is the, is the area that's fertile. So this is the fertile area of early agricultural. You see this area like Mesopotamia. This is the Euphrates River. You see all these other spots like Babylonia, Summer. You see these areas that's green? And you see the rivers like the Red, the Sea? You see the sea is attached to it like Persian Gulf? Mediterranean Sea. Okay, class. Mesopotamia civilization. Mesopotamia means between two rivers, and it is located between rivers Euphrates and Tigris. The location of Mesopotamia is between the Amity Mountains in the north and the Persian Gulf in the south. On the west, Mesopotamia shared border with the Syrian. Mesopotamia itself, while in the east with the mountains ravens of western Iran. Life in the south of Mesopotamia was difficult, but it was sustainable. Summer temperatures were reaching the tremendous values while there was very little rain. But thanks to the rivers, see y'all the rivers, I'll tell y'all about this picture about the rivers. <laughs> the rivers created swamp flooding. You see these rivers? They created swamp flooding. And it and also moisture the soil, even during the driest season. Even when the season, even when that season was dry, like it was hot, it still moisture the soil. That's amazing, isn't it? So the population built homes on elevated land along the swamps, which provided river fish. And birds for food. So on the islands in the middle of the swamps were pasture for domesticated livestock and arable land for farmers. Now the swamps reeds were used to make woven baskets while swamp soil people learned to use in making ceramics and brick. Mesopotamia was one of the most important areas in the history of humankind. Many ancient civilizations have developed in this area, such as Sumerian, Babylonia, Assyrian, and more. So the beginning of literacy are associated with this area. Cultural, economic, and political achievements of the Mesopotamian inhabitants influence the development of many other nations, such as the Egyptians, Greeks, and Persians. Okay, class. I want you to look at this map. This is the map of ancient Mesopotamia. So I want you to answer these questions. Use the map to locate and match the letter with the correct item for each question. For question one, where is the, the Euphrates River? Is it A, B, C, or D? B. B, good job. Good job. Let's look at the next one. Persian Gulf. Where is Persian Gulf? D. D. Did you say D? Yes. Right. Persian Gulf. This is Persian Gulf. Okay. Where is
is the Tigris River. C. Good job, class. This is the Tigris River. This is the Tigris River. Okay, class, and where is the Mediterranean Sea? A. A. Good job. Good job, class. Okay. Let me call on somebody. I want y'all to do something for me. Let me look at your names. I'm finna pick who I'm finna to call on. Okay, Devin. Let me call on you, Devin. Devin, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Devin. Now, if I tell you, Devin, tell me where the Tigris River on the map. What would you tell me? Where is where is Tigris River? What would you tell me? You want me to tell you A, B, or C? Or yes. Or you want me to tell me where, where it is? Uh, C. C. Yes, you'll say, Miss Mosby, C. This is the Tigris River. Okay. All right, let me call somebody else. I want to hear from all of you today. Alexis, can you hear me, Alexis? Alexis, are you there? Yes. Okay, Alexis. Where is the Mediterranean Sea? What? Where is the Mediterranean Sea? Um, it is... Um, is it A, B, C, or D, Alexis? I think it's D. No, this is no, this is not the Mediterranean Sea. You say Miss Mosby, Mediterranean Sea is. Let me give you another try. Where's the Mediterranean? C? No, it's not C. No. This is the Tigris River. C is the Tigris River. So where is the Mediterranean? Where's the Mediterranean Sea? It's... Class, I'm calling you because I want to make sure you all follow along with me. Now, I want I want each and every one of you all to know where each location is on the map. Now, Alexis, can you hear me? Now, Alexis, A, this is the Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea is A. This is the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, Alexis, and where is the Euphrates River? Where's the Euphrates? What now? I, I can't hear you. B. B, right. Good job. This is the Euphrates. Okay, so where is the Tigris River, Alexis? C. C, good job. And where is the Persian Gulf? D. D, good job. Okay, class, I want you all to pay attention. Write down, take down notes, okay? You guys are doing a good job today. Okay, class, so where is the Mediterranean Sea? A. A. Where is the Tigris River? C. C. Okay, and where's the Euphrates River? B. B. And where is the Persian Gulf? D. D. Good job. Good job, class. Okay, class, this is all vocabulary words for chapter four. Say the vocabulary words with me. What word is this? Interaguration. Interaguration. Irrigation. This is irrigation. Irrigation. So y'all should have this in your in teams under your class files. 
Irrigation. What's our second vocabulary word? Metallurgy. Metallurgy. You all should be familiar with metallurgy. What is metallurgy? The mixing of metal are using by using intensity. Good job. Okay, and what is our next vocabulary word? Silt. 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 Silt is fine particles of fertile soil. Silt. What is our next vocabulary word? Parallel. Parallel. Good job. Parallel. Parallel. Good, good job. What's our next vocabulary word? Surplus. Surplus. Good job. What's our next vocabulary word? City state. City state. What is this word? Polythesium. Polythesium. Okay. What is this? Is cuneiform? Cuneiform. And you all are going to see this. This is writing developed by the summary that use red sharp marks, shape marks. So y'all will be seeing this. Look at ziggurat. Ziggurat is a pyramid. So did everybody saw a pyramid before? Yeah. Yes. So, okay. Consist. Scribe. Scribe is a person who copies or write out documents, often a record keeper. Epic. Empire. Code. Military. Does anybody have a family that's in the military? Um, my brother is in the Marines. Oh, wow. Well, I thank him for his services. Yes, military. That's one of our vocabulary words. Province. Tribute. Caravan. Slave labor. Will. Sell and plow. So please look over your vocabulary words, class. And we're going to go to our exit ticket for today. Mesopotamia is located in a region known as the what? Please type your answer in the chat box. We can't type it in the chat. Oh, yes, I forgot. So Mesopotamia is located in a region known as the what? Fertile Crescent. Fertile Crescent. Good job. You all did a fantastic job today. Remember class for homework? Look at your vocabulary words. And for those who did not finish their assignment, please complete your assignment and turn it in to me by today. Please turn it in to me by today, class. And read chapter four in your social studies textbook. So our objectives today was to identify and locate the geographical features of ancient Mesopotamia, including Black Sea, Euphrates River, Mediterranean Sea, Persian Gulf, Tigris River, Zagreus Mountain. We're going to explain how the geographical features led to the region being known as Fertile Crescent. And the students will be able to identify, develop geographical awareness by analyzing locations in order to identify and locate the geographical features of ancient Mesopotamia, including the Black Sea, Euphrates River, Mediterranean Sea, Persian Gulf, Tigris River, and Zagreus Mountain. Class, did we complete those objectives today? I want to hear a yes or no. Did we complete these objectives today? I heard only from one person. I want to hear from everybody. Did we complete these objectives yeah. today? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, class, you all did a fantastic job today. I am so proud of you all. You all have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all on tomorrow. You all may log off, and you all have a wonderful evening. You, you also have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Oh, how sweet. <laughs>